Good morning. Welcome to 10 at 10 with Light the Bay Church. Uh, we're, we've been talking about the subject of health and particularly focusing in this week on emotional health and in the area of forgiveness. And so we're just going to jump right back into this subject. We've been talking about the importance of walking in forgiveness, um, how it can adversely affect our lives, and then how it can, if we, if we let it stay unresolved, it can affect those that we love and those that we come in contact with. So forgiveness is something that we just want to clip out of our life. We want to say no to, and we want to start walking down a road of emotional health in the area of forgiveness. So let's open this time in prayer, and we're going to get right into our content. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we just invite you to be a part of this time. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that the joy of the Lord is our strength. We thank you that we get to enjoy this life and that you're showing us how to be healthy, how to be content, how to enjoy those that you've placed in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, we're going to talk. We talked about yesterday why walking uh, in, in emotional health and in forgiveness is a healthy thing for us to do. Today, we're going to be talking about steps that we can follow to actually walk in forgiveness. And we're going to touch part of the subject today, and then we'll finish things out tomorrow. So we're going to go through three steps today. The first step is be purposeful. The second step is take responsibility. And the third step is pray for the person. So we're going to look at the point of be purposeful. What we mean by that is um, if there's unresolved things on the inside of you, sometimes it's important to just take some time and just evaluate what's going on on the inside. Maybe ask yourself some, some questions. Why, why am I so upset about this? Why do I get angry when I'm around this person? Why do I feel so hurt? And sometimes it's helpful, helpful to just sit down with a pen and a paper Begin your time in prayer and say, Father, I just pray for some clarity as I'm going through this. And just start asking yourself, what, what's my problem? What's going on? And so we're, I'm asking you to just be purposeful. Um, take some time. What's behind things? And then write it down so that you have clarity. If something comes up and you find that it really isn't an accurate thing, I want you to cross it out. I don't want you to... Um, blame people or add things to your list that don't need to be there. So first of all, be purposeful. The second thing that we talked about is take responsibility. And this step is so important because you've heard it said, there's one side to a story, there's another side to a story, and then there's usually the story. So there's two sides. And it's always, it's always important to take responsibility for our part, to take responsibility for maybe what we've allowed to happen, take responsibility for not dealing with the conflict, take responsibility for maybe blowing up, whatever. And there's something um, that empowers you when you take responsibility, when you own up to your part. There's a scripture that it's found in 1 Peter 5.5. 5. And it says, and all of you clothe yourselves with humility toward one another because God opposes the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. That's such a great key because it shows that when we take that chip off our shoulder, when we're willing to look at ourselves, take that personal responsibility, man, God can work with us. God can help us walk through the process God can be working on the other side as well. And there's something about, it just opens up people's hearts. It opens up your heart when you have a humble attitude, when you understand that, hey, I may be at fault here, what's going on? And so the first thing is be purposeful. The second thing is take responsibility. And now we're gonna look at the third aspect. The third aspect is pray for the person. Pray that they would be blessed. Now, sometimes this is the last thing that you want to do. Sometimes you want to pray that God will agitate them. Sometimes you want to pray that they'll get their act together, you know, whatever. But my encouragement to you is um, actually pray for their blessing. 
And this can be found in the scripture. It's in Matthew chapter five, and this is verse 44 out of the Passion Translation. And it says, bless the one who curses you. Do something wonderful for the one who hates you. Respond to the very ones who persecute you by praying for them. Man, what a powerful, what a powerful truth. Because this is really the last thing that you, you want to do. It's the last thing that, um, that you uh, would tend to do. But it's God's way of doing it. And there's something that happens when you spend consistent time praying for somebody. And I'm just going to give you an example. An example might be, Father, I just pray for them. God, I pray for their family. I pray that they'd have peace in their home. I pray, Father, that their children, Father God, would excel. I pray, Father, that you'd help them in their parenting, Lord, and that you just give them favor with their kids. God, I pray that you bless them at work. I pray that you'd give them favor with their boss, that you'd show them exactly how to work on their projects, that you'd give them great success. God, I just thank you for them. And I thank you that you're at work in their lives, Lord. Man, there's something that happens. Um, I'm just going to also just give you an example for somebody personal. God, I pray. I pray for my spouse. I pray, Father God, that, Lord, that they would just grow into the person that you've called them to be. I pray that you'd give them confidence, that you'd increase, Father God, their peace, Lord, that you just cause them to just discover all the wonderful things that you've placed on the inside of them. Man, it's completely different when you look at things from that aspect. And so my encouragement to you is when it says pray for the person and pray for their blessing, actually take some time. Take maybe a week out and just pray for them on a consistent basis. Pray for their blessing. Pray that God would be at work in their lives. Pray that everything that concerns them would excel. And there's just something that happens that it just, um, it disarms you. It, it causes you to look more favorably on them and maybe causes you to see some things that accurately that you weren't seeing before. So we have three steps of walking in forgiveness. We're going to go to part two tomorrow on Friday. The first step is be purposeful. Actually think about what's bothering you. Maybe write it down if you need to for clarity. Step two, take responsibility. And step three, pray for the person and that they would be blessed. Man, we hope that this is helpful information to you. God's word is always helpful. And um, we just encourage you, have a great day. Find some things to be grateful for today. Um, take some time to look around you and just enjoy the things that God's put in your life and the people he's put in your life. God bless you.